This is Brett Waltzmath of The Headliner and Starwatch Media reporting from the 2011 Dallas International Film Festival. Brett Waltzmath of Starwatch Media, it's a pleasure to speak with you. You play the role of Emma in, in this film. Can you please discuss a little bit about your role? She is a free-spirited bundle of joy. <laughs> um, she's definitely not a bitch, um, but she's kind of the less conservative, you know, indie girl, I like to call her, you know, that the, um, that the lead guy, Jetty, over here calls for. Um, and she's just kind of adorable, and so it's really fun to get to play her. You start out your career in modeling. What was it like to make that transition from modeling to acting in film? Um, it was like, thank God. <laughs> no, I, modeling's great, but it's like, you're only being judged for the way you look, and I just, I hated that. Like, I just, you don't ever get to be yourself or prove that you have more to yourself than just in the outside image, and so being able to act and to really explore new people and realms and um, experiences is just, it's so different, so I'm thrilled to have made the transition. And you were raised in the East Coast, correct? Yeah. What, what was that like, making the move to Los Angeles to pursue your career? It was rough, actually, you know, I'm not going to lie. I, I love the East Coast. I'm still an East Coaster at heart, but I've gotten soft in my years. I've been in L.A. now eight years, so I definitely, my husband loves it. I, I do love it. I just, it's very different, and I was, I think, I miss snow. That's my complaint about Los Angeles. I mean, I know the mountains are right there, but it's not, you, you know, you don't get snow days like you do growing up on the East Coast. So You, you do get the beach, though. You do get the beach. That's true. It's true. But I grew up on Long Island, and I had the beach there, too. So I kind of had both. I had snow on the beach, so I'm kind of like, but no, I, I love of Los Angeles now so and it's great it's and there's so much work there so it's really wonderful pe for people who are in this industry uh, please forgive me for looking at my notes you, you have uh, you have the upcoming film <laughs> right right you have the upcoming film uh, girl trash all night long yeah. coming out can you please discuss the film with us it is a um, a rock musical set around um, this kind of group of girls that go out on the town um, in a battle of the bands and I have the worst voice known to man, and so they dub my voice. It won't actually be mine, thank God, but my co-stars did have to hear me singing the real thing, and they were all, like, trying not to lose it in the car scenes where I had to sing because it was, it cracked like a 10-year-old boy every time. So I'm happy to say that someone who was very talented took over for my vocals. So, yeah. When, when will the film be coming out? Um, that one we're not sure on. They're, they're still doing post work on that, and then they're still recording a few songs for us. So we're hoping that it'll make it to the start going into the festival scene in the fall. So yeah, and they're, I think they're actually considering doing a sequel as well, maybe shooting the summer. So that might be something that'll be up and coming, and it might be a post-apocalyptic, like musical. <laughs> as an actress, who's been your greatest inspiration in your career? I would have to say, I mean, I grew up watching Natalie Portman because she was around the same age and I mean who doesn't love Natalie Portman I'm so happy she won the Oscar but um, also Kate Winslet is one of my all-time favorites I just like adore her I want to be best friends with her and I've said this in like every interview so she's gonna think I'm a stalker if I ever finally meet her um, but yeah I just like those I think they're just such amazing and uh, talented wonderful women so other projects you currently have in production um, there are, there's talks of a, another feature maybe starting in September. I can't really say too much about it right now, but um, it would shoot in Austin and LA, so I'd be back to Texas, so that would be great. I have never been to Austin, and I'm dying to get there, so I hope I'm back, yeah. Thank you so much, yeah, Kate. You. Wonderful nice talking to you. To you. you too. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.